Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Premier League review. After raving so much about Serie A, I actually realized, well, uh, also quite some things happened in the Premier League. Problem is, uh, since I get highlights relatively easy in bite-sized junk uh, for the Premier League, I tend to not watch as many games live and I wanted to watch Chelsea against Arsenal, but then Lask is playing at the very same time. And then I said, now, nah, um, again, I have to rely on highlights and what every, everyone else is saying. So, yeah, I'm a little bit, yeah, not too happy about it. But it's also a little bit down to, you know, they don't show all the matches here in Austria. It's always a little bit pick and choose, which is, is especially on Saturday afternoon. It's a little bit annoying because I probably would have picked another game than the City Norwich game that they were showing. But I'm wearing West Ham, who are again one of the early stories of the season, uh, with a rather impressive win, I have to say. And again, scoring many goals. So West Ham is an early uh, contender for the most fun team in the league. Let's see how they will go on with the European campaign. Um, I also think that most London teams look quite good on the big London teams. Uh, except for the obvious one, Arsenal, uh, who are in trouble, I would have to say. Uh, yes, we'll talk about the game. There are mitigating circumstances, but overall, Arsenal is the one team where you really can point the finger at, yes, you need to do better. You definitely need to do better, given the cloud that you have in the English game. Let's get started. Uh, Liverpool Burnley took Liverpool a little while to get going, but once they got going, I think it was a well-deserved uh, win. I think more or less with the first shot on goal, uh, Diogo Jota scored. Uh, and then there was a chances here, here, here and there, but I have to say the second goal by Sadio Mane, wonderful team goal. Absolutely, fully deserved win for Liverpool. Uh, and they are off to a good start already. No goal conceded. We'll see next round what they're made of. Uh, also a wonderful goal by Danny Ings uh, for Aston Villa against Newcastle United. Uh, absolute wonderful overhead kick and then an El Ghazi penalty seals the deal for Newcastle and Aston Villa kind of bounce back from the opening day defeat. Um, probably the most fun game this weekend, that's the one I would have chosen uh, if I had the chance, was Leeds United against Everton. Uh, back and forth the fair, two very storied uh, teams in the, within the English game, so that would definitely have been something uh, to watch out for now also with fans. And it was a back and forth affair with, you know, uh, Everton twice taking a lead, once a penalty by Calvert-Lewin, and then uh, right after the half uh, through Gray, but then Klich and Rafinha equalized twice, um, and there was chances for more goals on both sides. That, as I said, I only saw the highlights, um, they were already entertaining, it was mentioned to me multiple times how entertaining this game was, and I totally can't believe it, and I, when I looked at the schedule, I said, okay, if they show leads against Everton, I actually might tune into that uh, at least up until Lusk starts, and then they show Man City against Norwich, and I said, nah, well, then I'm gonna go somewhere in Spain or whatever, I'm, uh, it's not gonna happen. No, it was not the no, no, Dim Lusk on Saturday. What, what, whatever I wanted to watch, I don't know now. Whatever I wanted, what I wanted to watch, I think I would have picked that game over many others. Uh, Man City against Norwich was the game that they, that they were showing. I... Massacre, because Norwich continued to play open against Man City, so it was obvious what's gonna, uh, going to happen. Um, Team Krul uh, own goals to start off. Then Jake Grealish gets uh, his goal tally tab started at Man City with the um, most brilliant of goals of his shin, uh, fully intended. It goes in and it's 2 0 at the half, and there was no way back. And Laporte, Sterling, and uh, Mares uh, add more. Uh, it has to be pointed out that Gabriel Jesus actually looked good, but. I think Norwich also made them look good and so uh, he had two assists uh, for the Grealish and Sterling goals. Um, what else can can, can I say? Um, Southampton against United I think was uh, a little bit coming back to earth for United Leeds. Very open and 
that it can cut through. So that gave them a little bit more of a rough edge and you know, uh, Sorsha and also Klopp were com complaining of how rough the league now is. And I'm thinking, yeah, it's the Premier League, it's England. Uh, it's sure uh, everyone, I mean, it's the proverbial uh, British toughness uh, here. We always say that in England, yeah, you need to have your elbows a little bit out. You need to play a little bit stronger. Uh, so I don't really get those call complaints. Um, they found find themselves 1-0 down. I think it was given as an own goal to Fred because it was deflected. Uh, but uh, Paul Bogba then assists Mason Greenwood and it, it ends 1-1, one, one, probably on balance, deserved. Remarkable, I think, were the, uh, it was the United kit. I really like the shirt. Not sure about the shirt, short comp combination, but you know. Uh, Wolves against Spurs. Uh, the Nuno Dar Derby uh, ends 1-0 for Spurs thanks to a penalty by uh, Dele Alli and Kane came on and suddenly they actually looked a little bit of a better team and then we already had a big London derby uh, is it the big yeah I, I would say it's the London derby the big London derby because the other one is the North London derby but it's a little bit more heated uh, Arsenal against Chelsea and whatever you said beforehand about this game was exactly how it played out uh, Chelsea just being so much more better, um, especially with Romelu Lukaku, a little bit une unexpectedly starting. Uh, this physical presence up front is probably what Chelsea uh, really needed. And uh, for me, it was kind of so, so surprising how well it actually worked. The Thomas Tuchel within a few days, I mean, Lukaku had just signed, uh, could already adjust his team to his playing style. Um, yes, it did not look all super sharp yet, but uh, it looked impressive enough uh, and he got the first goal, assisted by Reese James. Uh, should have probably gotten two more uh, at least. I mean, a one that was a wonderful save in the second half by Bernd Leno, which probably was the best thing that Arsenal ever had. Arsenal, I think, was threatening twice, uh, once before they have, and then probably they should have had a penalty also. Potentially, I, yeah, for me, it's kind of a fine line uh, there. But in the end, despite those things, I think Chelsea looked so much better. And for me, the big question is if Lukaku... Now, um, I actually think that for the, cha for the Champions League to defend that one, uh, you always need a little, a little bit of luck, and Chelsea had that luck last season. I honestly think Chelsea repeating is very, very, very unlikely, despite them having a really good squad. But I think, in that sense, Lightning rarely strikes twice. Although I think they are in contention there, but I would rather take the field than Chelsea. Let's put it that way. Uh, how in the Premier League? If that works out, and especially if Kane doesn't go to City, I can see Chelsea. The depth of the squad and the way Thomas Tuchel is coaching, I mean, in a half year, he turned them from a laughing stock uh, to the champions of Europe. I think he can take them places, uh, probably even challenge Manchester City, maybe more so than Liverpool. However, it's still early in the season also. So, I mean, it feels this way. But we have to see how things develop with injuries and so on. I mean, we already have um, Kristen Pulisic out uh, because of COVID. So this also means a little bit, uh, you know, the depth with in in injuries uh, can go rather quickly. And we still have some question marks over Havertz and maybe even uh, Timo Werner. Uh, who, can they really take the next step? Because if those two will also, also be clicking, I think Chelsea... The investment that they did uh, really put them then up into title contention again, and maybe this season, uh, the latest next season, if they can hold, 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 hold together, I could very well see Chelsea win another Premier League title. So yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, Mid against Turks, Turks for R Arsenal. Had overall, a rather poor showing. I mean, it was clear that there is a huge difference between those two. Uh, teams, but also many first team players for Arsenal were missing. So yeah, <sighs> we gotta see. I honestly see Ar Arsenal having a horror start, and then maybe after the international break, they might start picking up points. Um, I, it will be important, I think, to not panic after three games. I know this international break would be a nice cut off point. I would give Arteta at least until the next international break. 
to see uh, whether they should continue working on, on, on it. If not more, we have a third international break as well. I think those are the better times to evaluate where things are going uh, with this squad. And then on Monday, uh, as I said, West Ham, a rather, rather uh, convincing result. A uh, little bit, teeny bit help by a red card by also Paris, where, yeah, <laughs> You know, I can understand the player because he wants to catch the ball and, and he's stumbling and, and tries to get it, but the way he goes on the shin, yeah, it's unfortunately a red card. And uh, at that point, they found themselves already down 1-0 um, Leicester uh, through for Niles. Uh, ben Rama adds a second uh, before Tio Tillemans pulls on Wegener, Michael Antonio uh, scores two more, uh, kind of making himself, I think, the... Uh, Score the highest Premier League scorer for West Ham. That's what I was. And I think there was a great sense of the bridge where he takes a cover of off himself and kisses it. Um, it was a little bit of a weird jersey match up. I have to get used to the new West Ham jerseys, to be honest. I like those old ones a little bit better. And Leicester City also. That's looked weird so far. Um, so. That takes West Ham all the way up on the table. We have Liverpool, Chelsea, uh, second and third. Keep that and in mind. Man City now also back on track. Um, also uh, see that Tottenham is up there. So we have a few teams that start well. And Brighton finally converting the chances. I, we, I, I have not talked about that. But last season Brighton was creating many chances. And now they're finally converting them. So that also has to be noted. Uh, in the expected standing, not much change except that Chelsea is now ahead of Liverpool. Um, that will be interesting in West Ham ahead of Leicester City. So, um, gotta see if West Ham really can become at least the second best team in London, which they finished last season at the moment. They're still behind Spurs, who have been picking up points a little bit unexpectedly. And, you know, you see already in the green shades, they are kind of at the moment tipped to be relatively solidly the best of the rest uh, outside of the top four. Next week we have a big one uh, between Liverpool and Chelsea. That will be a great game. That one I'm gonna make sure that I'll watch because that is one of those matches that definitely uh, pop out. Uh, pop out will also be City against Arsenal, although I see this really more as a massacre. Um, and then Crystal Palace starts with the, <laughs> I just want to mention, third London derby in a row. Uh, they started at Chelsea, then they had uh, Brentford, now they have West Ham. So rather curious scheduling uh, there as well. Uh, it ends also with the traditional one between Wolves and United. So, and that looks interesting. But I think it's all about Liverpool, Chelsea that early on. So yeah. That's my thoughts on what happened in the Premier League this weekend. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please add uh, below what you thought about uh, what was happening. And if you want to add any, any, anything, um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.